Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my brakes on a 2018 Toyota RAV4. Um, we're going to be using the Detroit Axle uh, Premium Brake Rotors. They're going to be the drilled and slotted ones. I got the rear, I got the front down there. Kit also came with the brake clean, uh, the brake fluid, along with ceramic brake pads. Uh, so let's get into it. Now the whole reason for the brake job is I'm pretty sure that the front rotors are warped a little bit, but I know the rear rotors are warped. Um, so I figured this is a good time to need to switch over to drilled and slotted rotors. I'm understanding it's supposed to hold up to the heat a lot better. I do do a lot of mountain driving, so hopefully this will help. Starting out, I'm going to use a 14 millimeter socket to take off the caliper itself, and then afterward I'll take off the caliper bracket. I may have to back this up with another wrench, but hopefully I won't have to because I don't know if I've got one skinny enough for that. Okay, with the bolts out, let's say pull the caliper right off. Set that over there for now. Brake pads are loose there, no problem there. Now the next thing to do is take off the caliper bracket using 17 millimeter. Okay, remove those. That caliper bracket comes off, and now I can see about removing the rotor. Next comes removing the rotor. Go to your neighbor's house, see if he's got some of these fine thread bolts. I don't have a clue what size that is. And let's see if we can get that jacked off. Okay, found the 11 millimeter socket. And oh, this removes this without stripping out the, yeah, it's gonna strip them out. Great. Still no clue what size that was, but it turned out they work out all right. There we go. Emergency brakes look fine. At least that's off, and now we can go with the new rotor. Okay, so went and set, took a wire brush to everything, kind of got the surface rust off. Added just a film of caliper grease to it, just mainly to make sure that the next guy that deals with this won't have to check that off as near as that didn't center at all put a little bit of caliper grease on it just mainly so that uh, next time we go to take this off it won't be as difficult and now time to put the rotor on this rotor doesn't have any grease at all on it we did clean it up a little bit and let's see if I can do this one handed I can't maybe I can there we go Place. Next thing is start putting the caliper bracket back on it. I think before I do that I'm going to go ahead and grease up the pins. So one thing you always want to check is make sure that your caliper pins are moving. In this case they are, but I want to go ahead and pull them out and grease them up. So just kind of pull them from the boot, making sure the, not to damage the boot. I'm going to clean that up and then re-grease them. Okay, and what I'm using is the CRC Breaking Caliper Grease. This is the synthetic. Give a little bit of a coating. Slide her back in. Everything's good to go there. We'll do the other one and then we'll get it put on. And while I have it out, I'm just going to go ahead and pull these old pieces of hardware out and let's get the new ones put in. Okay, with the new hardware in place, Put a little bit of grease on there just to make sure everything slides nicely and now we'll put the pads in okay got the brake pads in place the next thing is start putting everything back in reverse order okay so we're going to take our 17 millimeter we're going to torque to 72 pounds of torque on the two bolts on the copper bracket After dousing it with enough brake clean to get everything all nice and clean, we're going to take and compress the piston. After compressing the piston there, put just a hair of grease right on the ears over here, and then just on the edge of that 
piston just mainly to keep everything from sticking next we're going to compress our brake pads onto the caliper or into the rotor like that and now I will place that in place and install the bolts there we go make sure that brake hose is not twisted and I look up the specs, I'm pretty sure it's 22 foot pounds, but I'll double check before I torque. Okay, so now we're going to tighten up with a 14 millimeter at 25 foot pounds of torque. Last but not least, pull this out of your old rotor and pop that in there. That's going to be for adjusting the emergency brakes. I believe these are going to be just fine. And now to torque to 110 pounds on each one of these. And before I get roasted in the comments, I figured out my problem before I uh, finished this all up. So I already swapped out the rotor. So it's going the right direction. <laughs> okay, now to the front. Okay, so now on to the front one. Um, got the two back ones done. Learned some of the mistakes I've made on the rear ones. Uh, one in particular is just uh, use a, was a 5 16 coarse thread bolt. Uh, it's a half inch head to it. Uh, that works best for pulling the rotors off. Um, I assumed it was going to be metric. It turned out it wasn't. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this one, and hopefully it will go a little bit faster. So on this one, uh, ended up having to make a quick trip to Harbor Freight. Picked up a kind of a thin walled uh, 17 millimeter so that uh, it can back that up because on the front ones for whatever reason they were spinning so that should work yep just need to back it up just a little bit I'm just trying to get a good shot so you can see, yeah. One sec, let me get on the other side or kind of get. Carry on. That one's practically falling off. Yeah. Pull off the rotor and then just clean up the back here. And it fix it. Let's put a little bit on there just to make it so that next time it'll be a cough easy. This one came off really easy compared to the others. The others, it took a lot of effort to get them off. Well, even the other front one, uh, it was. Uh, stuck on there a little bit but it only took a couple pops with the hammer to release it. Those back ones were froze on there. Yeah I'm guessing it's from the flood water in, in uh, Utah last year. 
as we uh, got stuck in the new flood remover. Yeah. Okay, just a thin coat of copper grease on there. That way it shouldn't have any problems spawning off in the future. Plus the new ones are going to be coated anyway, so it shouldn't rust up near as bad. Can't hurt. And there we have our new rotor. There we go. And the whole reason why I turned the last, the rear one around is because you want it so that the tops are facing toward the back so it's kind of slinging the dust and whatever from behind the brake pads out. At least that's what I read online, so hopefully that's correct. And now to get the caliper assembly set up. Okay, so next thing is to pull these caliper pins. These are pretty sticky, so I definitely want to get those freed up. Definitely more sticky than the last side. There we go. And all I'm going to do is clear the grease off of there, put it back in. See if any more grease comes off. Try to clean out that the best I can because I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to clear out the inside of that bore. I think that's going to be fine. And then just a little bit of caliper grease onto the pin. And it's way looser automatically. And then rinse and repeat. go now next thing I want to do is remove my old hardware find the matching one over there it came with a brake kit pop that into place it has a mirroring clips. You just want to make sure that you put them back in the same direction as you pull them off. Let's see. I'll make sure I get the right one. That's correct. Yep, that's right. If you mess up, you want to make sure that the outer one has got the angle going in to hold the pressure on that. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and put my, well, getting ahead of myself, I want to grease up the pads. Make sure we don't have squeaky brakes, because that's where a lot of times it messes up. Just want to make sure you don't get it on your brake pads. For the outer part of that. Perfect. Try to see 
you pass the camera. There we go. Got a little bit on my finger there. Just don't want to get that on the pad. Perfect. Now to put it on. All right. to find the home for it. And of course I don't have it in the right position. Take some moment when you can't see what you're doing back there. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Thought I did. Snug it up. Ah, uh, you're going the wrong way, I think. Did it flip on me? It did flip on me. I hate my ratchets to that. I'll cut that out. <laughs> now I'll just keep it in there to prove you're human. <laughs> it flipped up. There we go. That feels better. I was say that. That's all right. Depending on what part of the internet you go to, it's either 72 or 75. We're going to go ahead and go for 75. It's not far off. Your brake pads together on the rotor. That part is done. Now to get the, cal the caliper stuff ready. Uh, Make sure all the brake dust is off of that part. There we go. Choose your Compression tool of choice. Me, I'm feeling cheap today, so C clamp it is. I don't see anything wrong with the C clamp. Some cars you have to use the kit. In this case, it was actually worse if I'd used the caliper kit because it had a little pin sticking out on it. It only needs to be compressed just a little bit. The other brake pads are not that old, but the rotors are warped, so I figured. Do everything all at once. A little bit of caliper grease on the ears. And then a hair of caliper grease on the edge of the piston itself. Yeah, you're gonna have to do some nice close-up uh, edit-out shots. Nah, it's all good. Make sure we put it on with the hose facing the right way so it's not twisted. Let me get underneath real fast.
It's almost there. Doing most of it, I feel. <laughs> Camera guy's really helping on this one. Thank you, Calvin, for filming this last part. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm sure the rear ones looked horrible. Nobody needed to see you struggling through those. Well, it would have helped if I'd done something in the last year or so to prepare. <laughs> Did that happen? No. Oh well. And I'm just gonna snug these up. Even that one's pushing it. It is pushing it. If you had a belt sander, you could take it down a little bit. It switched on me again, didn't it? comes in. There we go. So I'm going to bring it down. Well, I jump my boot out of the back way. Yeah, okay. There we go. Great job done. Go to the back on. Anyway, there it is. Uh, I'll take and drive this. I'm going to Colorado next week. So I'll be able to test them out and give a better idea of how they work out uh, later on. I'm just hoping this uh, that the drilled and slotted rotors uh, make a huge difference as far as anything warping in the future. But uh, uh, we should be safe on that trip. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Catch you in the next one.